Well, welcome to an introduction to the Microsoft Surface. The Surface is a hybrid device. It combines features of tablets and laptops. Think of it primarily as a laptop on which you might be able to touch the screen. However, it can be separated from its docking station, from its keyboard, and used simply as a tablet. Let's go ahead and take a look at a few of the features. This particular one uses Windows 8, which is a little bit different than Windows 7 in a lot of ways and may not look familiar to you if you're not a Windows 8 user. So a few of the steps will just be primarily about how to navigate around Windows 8, but then we'll be taking a look at how to get ebook content on this device. So the first thing that happens when you log in is you're going to see a screen with these pretty swirls on it. In order to get to where you log in, you're going to swipe from the bottom. And you can use either your finger or this device. It looks like a mechanical pencil. It's Microsoft Stylus. So at this point, you'll log in with your username and your password. And you'll get the usual Microsoft welcome. From there, once again, it might start looking just a little bit different than you're used to if you're not a Windows 8 user. As it logs in with any luck. Hello. When you log in, the screen is going to look something like this. These sort of icons will help take you to different programs, but it is possible to see a more traditional view of what this looks like. If so, look right here where it says desktop, and you'll touch that. You'll see first Internet Explorer, but if you close that, you'll see a more traditional looking screen, what Windows 7 would look like. It's actually a little bit easier to use the other screen once you get used to it, although you can navigate some of the features from here. To get back, if you look along the bottom left of the screen, you'll see this. That will take you back there. This key on the keypad, the Windows key, will take you there. Or at the very bottom of the surface, there is another Windows icon. And if you touch that, you'll see this screen again.